Please don't look at me. Please don't look at- No, no, I'm not doing anything shady. I'm just taking my speaker for a walk, okay? He's got to get his exes- Oh, come on. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Thief Simulator. Now, I know what you guys are probably thinking. Okay, Cap, why are you starting off the episode underneath the bed? Why are there alarms going off and sirens in the distance? And police officers in the not so distance. And the answer to that is climbing gloves. Okay, the internet wants $1,200 for one pair of climbing gloves that must turn me into Spider-Man or something like that, so I need them, but I don't have $1,200. So I'm working on it. I think things have finally quieted down here at the Watson residence. I can still hear them moving around and opening and closing doors in the distance and stuff like that, but that's fine, right? If we run into them again, they'll call the police and we can return to our very clean hiding spot. I've been meaning to mention, who keeps the underside of a bed this clean? These people are just real freaks, says the guy that creeps around people's homes in the night like this. I'll never get over that. You guys might remember, actually, that we robbed the Watsons last episode. But I didn't get all of their stuff, and a lot of it is just replaced instantly, right? They have, like, a, a really good insurance policy. Not sure if the insurance policy is going to cover family vacation photos, but, you know, I, I need my climbing gloves. Ooh, $50 in single bills. Mrs. Watson's been moonlighting again. Good for her. I still have no idea what certain things are worth, so I'm just grabbing a golden goblet and leaving behind a landline telephone because of common sense. <laughs> I guess I'll eventually pick up on things. Do you think I can assassinate the toilet? Like, I, I did this as a job, but... Oh! Well then, again... That just seems kind of mean-spirited, but sure. <laughs> so I can definitely do hit jobs on toilets. Good, good. These are glowing. They look important. Sure. My backpack's full, just like that. Really just sneaking around looking for cash or nudes of Miss Watson at this point. That'll fit in the backpack. Okay, we got a flash drive. I, I can technically get out through the window because that's how I came in, but I want to make off with a large item. That TV would look great in Ivan's shop. The problem being, I can't take it out through a window, and there's usually people roaming around in the kitchen. Uh, I don't suppose I can pick this without being heard. Do you think that'd be a possibility? Right, this isn't very loud. This seems like a relatively quiet activity. Okay, I like it. So we could just take this and creep off into the night and then out over their ramp? Well, that was awful convenient. I technically parked my car on the other side of town, so I might come off as a little bit sketchy right now. You know, walking through the shrubbery with high-end technology in the middle of the night, but... I think I'm... Oh, no, no, I'm not doing anything shady. Not doing anything shady. Don't mind me. Just loading up my old TV. There we go. Okay, I'll be on my way now. Ivan, you had better give me good money for this TV, okay? I don't think I've ever brought you a TV, but you've been scamming me on a lot of stuff lately. I know it's just a little bit cracked because I keep dropping Welcome it on back. the floor, but that, that's not my fault, okay? <laughs> so I got that. You're willing to give me 120 bucks for it? Okay, that's not too bad. Camera, $46. Golden Goblet. People were telling me in the comments that I might be able to sell that on the internet for more. So we'll just sell the weird vases, the alarm clock. Flash drive seems like it would be something important. Maybe I'll hold on to that. 25 bucks, I, I could take it or leave it. Yeah, that's right. I get all Miss Watson's nudies to myself. What are you gonna do about it? What's with the cardboard box in my front seat? That wasn't there before, was it? Oh, I can interact with it. Oh. I can keep stuff in my car now. They might have been updating the game. I'm not really sure, but that would definitely be useful. Okay, well, we can uh, keep the flash drive and uh, maybe the house keys. Yeah, 
We'll just unload a little bit of weight, leave it in the car if we ever need it. That gives me a save point too, that's pretty useful. Now we can head home and dish out for the gloves. So I had to do a little bit more busy work to get to level 6, which means I now have agility level 1, which lets me throw bricks, as well as agility level 2, which lets me climb vines. And now I should get a phone call from Vinny. What do you want, Vinny? Hey, you know what else ain't broke? Is Greenview 104's windshield. Listen, man, I I'm getting ready to climb stuff. I'm not looking to do any more hit jobs for you. We're even after the toilets, okay? And I just got myself a pair of climbing gloves. There we go. Are we gonna try them on? They're lovely. As much as I would love to try out my new overpriced identical gloves, you don't really get to say no to the Windex Mafia or else they'll hit your windows. So I'm here scoping out 104 and I'm seeing a real big problem. They don't see me though because very inconspicuous. I I'm supposed to break a car window, but they have a garage. So what am I supposed to do? So I can't pick the lock of the garage door. I'm not yelling these things out loud, okay? This is all in my head. I'm not being suspicious. I'm just staring at somebody's garage door in the middle of the day, thinking to myself that I can't pick the lock to get in because there is no lock. And we have a front door, but the front doors are usually jacked, right? Yeah, I need a mini electric lockpick and level 3 lockpicking skill, which I don't have. So, how do I get in this house? Well, these other houses that it's attached to have locks that I can pick, but I don't know if that would really help me all that much. <laughs> right? They should all be individual homes, and the homeowners are standing right there, so that, that's probably not a very good idea. Not very inconspicuous. There has to be something that I'm missing. Here we go. I don't suppose I can climb up this using my newly acquired climbing gloves? Oh, come on! <laughs> okay, surely... Surely this guy has a bed. Surely he's not sitting on the couch right there freaking out as I break into his house. Don't don't mind me, sir. Okay, th this will be real quick. I'm not here to break your windshield. Where's your bed? All oh, the cops are getting real close. Wait. I can... Wh how the hell did you get up here? Oh, come on. That is just bullshit. I can guarantee he was not wearing $1,200 climbing gloves, so I refuse to believe that he actually got me there. <laughs> I'm gonna try that again, hopefully. Okay, the tenant is also gone. We're off to a much better start this time. Hello? Is anybody home? Friendly neighborhood zombie is here to steal all of your origami. Rubik's cubes, crap. Hear many footsteps. Oh, 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 what the hell? How did he get outside? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Okay, uh, there we go. Don't mind me, just gonna be the boogie monster under your child's bed. They wouldn't find my car, would they? Because last time they took my car hostage and I really didn't appreciate losing that way. No, we're good. That's right, I left it very inconspicuously in the bushes. He's listening to music, pretty loud, and he left the front door open, which is just super appreciated. <laughs> but I think if I hold down on E, I can quietly open things and take a look around inside of them. There we go. Anything? Nothing? Technically, I'm, I'm here to break his windshield, but I'm much more interested in what I can make off with. I, I think I might be pushing my luck a little bit. Oh, yep, def definitely pushing my luck a little bit. Don't mind me. <laughs> I can hide in here, repair? Oh, that is just too much. There is no way this is gonna work, right? I'm much more of an under-the-bed kind of guy, but, uh... Yeah, this works for me. <gasps> wow, what, what a great time to be a thief. He has to be down in the basement, right? Which makes breaking his windshield so much more difficult. Why does nobody ever sleep in this world? Oh, okay, he's right there. He must just be staring at his car. Where the hell is the garage? Okay, let's look around here. Maybe there's something of interest in here. Maybe there's a toilet for us to bust. 
<laughs> this is my, oh, that's my calling card. Crap, 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 crap. Oh, oh, there it is, there it is. Okay, so we're just gonna have to suck it. Request done. They uh, haven't figured it out yet. What if we just quietly close that door? Hey, don't mind if I do. <laughs> How do they not hear me breaking their crap? Now that looks expensive, so what if we just put that entire bass guitar in my backpack? I keep saying that I need a bigger backpack, but in reality, it's pretty big. <laughs> Can I please get out of here now? Where are they? They have to be all the way, to I wanna know what's down there, but at the same time, I really, really don't. I should just get out of here. I have a full backpack of everything I could ever want in life. I accomplished my mission, but it's just there's always more. I don't quite know how to explain this. I seem to be using my thief vision right now, and he seems to be admiring his own feet. So I could probably just take a peek down here and see what's going on. That's it. Oh, it's his kitchen. Everybody hangs out in their kitchen in the middle of the night. Strange. Okay, well, there's, there's probably nothing of interest there. Okay, I, I'm gonna go grab the TV and we're gonna get the hell out of here. What do you think is more valuable, a small TV or a giant speaker? I mean, we've already sold a TV, so I'm kind of curious how much the speaker is worth. I don't need to sneak anymore, who are we kidding? I can just uh, uh, drop, drop you and then jump. There we go, I wish I could take more than one thing with me. It drives me crazy that I can't. I, I just gotta leave his his stupid TV there because I have a hard time getting around bushes as it is. Come on, this is not the work of a master thief. There we go. Yeah, totally inconspicuous. I'm um, just gonna go over here. Please don't look at me. Please don't look at, no, no, I'm not doing anything shady. I'm just taking my speaker for a walk, okay? He's gotta get his exes, oh, come on. Okay, car, we're gonna have to make a getaway. <laughs> I don't know how close the police are gonna be. Come on, come on, grab you, put you in there, pose you, get get the hell out of here, get the hell out of here, come on, come on. Okay, we we should be in, oh no, we, uh, no, oh, my poor car. We should be in the clear, we're in the clear. Igor, so help me God, Building you better back. give me good money for this, okay, that that's a real big speaker. $120, it's I think the same as the TV, so not too bad. Another camera, pull the goblet, bass guitar, 220. Okay, made pretty good money there. I love that he actually has the stuff that you sell him just lying around the store. That's so awesome. So now I need to learn lock picking level three. I should be able to do that. Right, uh, lock picking level three. Open hard locks with mini electric lock pick. That sounds pretty sweet. Yes, Vinny, I learned the skill. Greenview 108 spends way too much time in front of the TV. Be a good neighbor and help him out. Can you sell me some kind of magical gloves or a better car that can hold more than one thing? Because I would love to steal more TVs, but I'm just not making good profit on it right now, okay? Every time I go to jail, it's gonna cost a lot more than $120 for me to get out. Who am I kidding, right? I never go to jail. I'm the master thief, and a master thief always scouts out where he's going to steal from next. Okay, well good news, the tenants have fallen into the negative zone and my car is uh, well masked once again. <laughs> Remember, your alibi is that you're a bush. If they catch you, you rat me out, so help me God. But I think I know how I can break in here, right? Because I did the proper scouting, I should be able to just climb up this, go in the open window, and we're good. Right? Oh, I always forget to look behind me to see if uh, anybody is watching. No. <laughs> there is no inconspicuous way to climb up somebody's house. It's just there, there really isn't. So, we're in. Now, there should be a TV behind. Whoa. That, that's not good. Okay, we're, we're off to a good start. Uh, yep, yeah, okay, here we go. Always a bed. <laughs> Every freaking time, man. I'm just never gonna get a good stealth bonus, okay? I I've conceded that fact. Officer, do I deserve a good stealth bonus? What do you think about that? You see, 
Master Thief, I'm practically invisible. They're giving my car a real strong look right now. I don't know how I feel about this. Way to go, car. Okay, he must have stuck with the bush story. <laughs> so once again, I do want to sneak around, right? I don't want to just find shoes, right? There's, there's got to be stuff of value in here. I, I think I can steal, yeah, break or steal the big TV. So I'm clearly going to steal the big TV, but uh, make off with an alarm clock or two. I guess that's better than nothing. I wouldn't go so far as to say that I'm evil, but I am going to steal a piggy bank and whatever may be inside, and a pendulum, because that also looks interesting. <gasps> Are we in the clear? Nobody's heard me sneaking around over here. I don't know how they saw me the first time. Just got to avoid these stairs, I guess. Okay, we need to get in through here using our new tool, the mini electric lockpick. Um... Vinny? I don't know how this thing works. You never... Oh. Okay. That was pretty sweet. Fully automatic. I like the way that works. Um... I, I know I can technically smash this, but I want to keep it. <laughs> it's so big. Can I throw it out a window, maybe? There's no way to get it out this window. I absolutely have to go through the front door if I want to take it, and I want to take it so bad. <laughs> so I'm going to see if there's anybody home. Right? I thought they blinked out of existence. Why? Oh, okay. Somebody's standing in the bathroom. That's one. I maybe open the front door? Mini electric lock pick. Okay. Work, work your magic. There you go. Good. Beautiful. Beautiful. Slowly open you. Sneak away. Sneak away. There we go. Nothing suspicious happening here. <laughs> Grab the TV. Is this actually going to work? This lock pick is seriously magic. I cannot believe how useful it is. Hopefully that guy is just taking a real long piss. This is the sketchiest I have ever looked. I will get- I, I don't need to creep- re I'm, I'm just gonna make a run for it. Come on. Come on. Come on. I think I'm good. I think I'm good now. Okay, citizens, please do not <laughs> give me shit right now. W where did I park my car? I thought my car was right here. Oh, no, it is right there. It's just so well masked. I didn't see it. I'm not doing anything shady. Oh, come on. Okay, let's just pop you in there. Perfect. Oh, screw you, lady. Screw, screw you. You're lucky I don't run you over right now, but I got more important places to be, like, out of town. See you later. Oh, bad. Oh, bad. Uh, they're coming from that way. That That's usually the way that I would go, so we'll go this way. Escaping the cops is actually difficult because there's so many of them, but I might be in the clear. I need to need to make a hard turn there. Good, good, and we're home free. Vinny, when are you ever gonna call and just be proud of me? When are you ever gonna call to just talk? You know, just how are you doing? That kind of thing. Every time it's either an insult and in that I don't know what I'm doing and I need to learn a new skill, or a, a new job. You don't want someone to see their own necklace at the pawn shop. You gotta break it down first. You don't know what you're doing, so you need to learn the appraisal skill. <laughs> Listen, I'll get right on that, okay? Right now, I have a bounty to cash in. This had better be worth a lot of money. Come on, Igor, for the love of God. I know, I know I drop it, but it's your own damn fault. Welcome you could back. you could get the door. Don't go give me that welcome back bullshit, okay? How much? 700 bucks. You know what? That's pretty good. I also made off with a guitar, some headphones, pendulum. Don't know why I thought that would be worth anything. But you know what? I think that's going to be it for this episode of Thief Simulator, guys. And I got to say, I'm still just constantly impressed by this game. Just the fact that it's so open world and it gives you so much freedom to screw around in, yet there's still objectives and progression. It's just, it's the best of both worlds and it's so much fun to record. So if you guys want to see more, as always, be sure to leave a like on this video, let me know, and maybe next episode we'll do some jewelry thieving and some appraising. I'm really interested in all of these extra stations that are set up in my home. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Thief.